When we first started with Trendminer, we were started, I think, like one of the first versions and it didn't have all the rich functionality and the features as it has today. And then you start in a journey where initially when we start with Trendminer, it's like this magic box and you really have to understand what you're doing. So asking a data analytics question is also uh, needing some thinking on how to ask a question to the software. So when we start with that, we started with uh, some very enthusiastic people and they were really uh, interested and they got some very uh, nice results in the beginning. They see it as a valuable uh, piece of uh, equipment or a tool which helps the engineers in, in doing the jobs in a, in a much more efficient way and try and finding solutions and answers to things that would take much more time. We use basically Trendmare for a couple of things, like in process control we can use it to really pinpoint some controllers which are moving and others which are not moving. That helps us really getting quick data for our advanced control and optimization projects. We use Trendminer root cause analysis which, which helps us a lot in you know, the traditional root cause analysis would always end up in a, in a, in a long list of, of action points that need to be fixed by uh, looking into the data. And now we use it as an interactive tool during a root cause analysis. Uh, we also are trying to uh, use the, the fingerprint functionality more and more to see if we can drive this, what, this thing you call golden batch. And yeah, we're looking forward to the new functionality to also embed it. Like the real thing that we want to go after is the contextualization. So we're already doing very uh, interesting things now, so matching machine data to process data and really combining those two will give you much more idea what's going on with an asset than just looking at one of the two.